Talk about three important points here early in the conference schedule. And Lafayette picked up three big ones off the foot or really head. It was just one of those crazy goals that kind of just bounced over the BU goalie's outreached arms and into the net. And either way, no matter how you wrap it up, number four, Giannis Pionidis came up with a big goal in the win. Here are some highlights from earlier nice in the game. Again. Right. An evenly played game really throughout, right. both teams exactly where you want the having different opportunities. This ball deflected and picked up by White. White played pretty well his first start of the year. This was a dangerous play, one of the few dangerous plays, at least in the first half, as this ball went over the post. Sutton was upset because earlier on he thought he should have got a penalty called against BU. But regardless... We move through the first half into the second half, no score. That was one of the more exciting possibilities for Lafayette on basically a couple of back-to-back -back plays. They had a couple of real nice strikes, did the Leopards. But here's the ball that changed everything off the foot of number four and into the goal for a game winner about a minute into overtime. And that is the golden goal. Officially on the clock, it looks like 8 minutes and 55 seconds left in that first overtime when the goal was scored. So there is your final score, one to nothing in favor of the Leopards. They did get the better of the shots, but everything else is pretty, pretty even throughout, and it was a pretty even game. Five shots on goal for each. Lafayette with an edge in corners and fouls. Got a little bit chippy in the, uh, in the second half, but Panitas picks up. That game winner's second goal of the year and three absolutely huge points for the Leopards. They, as they move to 1-0-1 in conference, the win over BU, the tie against Bucknell. So they now have four points in conference play. As for BU, they fall to 1-1 one one in conference, 1-5-1 one and one overall. And that's the first, again, walk-off winner for the Leopards this season. So Leopards now have off for a little bit. Up next on the 29th, they head to Navy for conference game number three. As for us, that'll wrap it up. The first of three games you will see produced by the Lafayette Sports Network today. Come right back to ESPN Plus at 3.30 for field hockey here at Metzger and then women's soccer again at 7 o'clock. For John Sabino pushing all the right buttons, I am Matt Fine. We hope you have a great afternoon, everybody. Stay, stay safe and have a wonderful weekend.